Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Kristen Aguirre joins us live this morning from the Quincy Arts Center. Kristen, what's going on over there around Quincy this morning? Good morning. Now, Chicago and St. Louis are big cities known for art, but you don't have to travel that far to see some great pieces. Coming up after the break, we're going to introduce you to one place that's serving up culture for a perfect price. You're watching KHQA This Morning. KHQA's Kristen Aguirre over at the Quincy Arts Center this morning, checking out what we can see here locally that you might see in the big city. What are you up to, Kristen? Right, you don't need to travel far to see some great art pieces right here at the Quincy Art Center. You can find some awesome cultural bites. So what do we have going on here? Well, we've got the Biennial Quad State Exhibit. So it comes every other year, and it's from four, this is artwork from four states that's been judged by an outside professional judge. Now, um, this is a huge deal, and you were saying that locally, how many people were able to get into this exhibit? Well, 11 people got in out of 53. So that, that's a big deal. We yes, have some great artists here locally. Now, I think people think that they have to go to big cities to see amazing art pieces. But, I mean, if we could take a look around, you do not have to travel that far to see some amazing pieces. No, it feels just like you are in a gallery in St. Louis or Chicago. And one of the best parts is that the art pieces that you're seeing, like we just said, you're seeing some local artists here. Right. It's really super. If people look at the labels, they tell the city or town that they're from. Mm -hmm. And um, we have different art exhibits traveling here throughout the year. Yes, yes. We have six different groupings of 12 to 14 exhibits every year. All right, well, coming up a little bit later in the show, we are going to go ahead to dive into this exhibit. We're going to take a look around and show you what you can see if you stop in here. We're going to look forward to that. We've been catching up with Kristen Aguirre all morning. She's talking about art in Quincy and how we don't have to go very far to get some big city talent. Kristen? That's right. You do not have to go far. You can stay here right here in the Tri-States here at the Quincy Art Center. They are serving up some great cultural pieces, and a lot of it's by local artists. So right now we're at their latest exhibit, and uh, let's retell everyone a little bit about this exhibit we have here. It's the biennial quad state exhibit, and it's a large competition, and we do it every other year, and we have uh, artists competing from Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, and let's see, Iowa. Iowa, and we <laughs> have uh, 11 local artists here, so that's yes. pretty amazing. So we gotta come and support our local art. So if you're a little bit afraid of art, though, because you don't really know how to dissect it, um, we're gonna show you how you can do that. So we have, um, I don't want to say odd, unique pieces like this. <laughs> and, you know, when I look at it, I get a little, I don't, how do I even go about looking at it? So how do you do that? Well, it is a little creepy. It's a little scary. <laughs> you might as well say that. Okay, um, it's ceramic. It's made of several large pieces, this upper piece and bottom piece. And if you look underneath there, you can see padding kind of going around. Uh-huh. Uh, to soften it. It's very kind of chunky and solid looking, but it's very delicate. The artist has to bring it himself or herself. And all these parts are put together uh, after the big pieces are set and where they want to be. And so what is this piece called? Hercules it's in the called Garden? It's Hercules in the Garden. Well, when you look at it, you know, you're the curator. What, what do you think about it? Oh, I think it's wonderful. It's so funny. Um, there are all these things like um, octopus uh, mm -hmm. tentacles and um, the, this kind of beetle, prehistoric beetle up here, but he's extremely large. Now, when I look at it, it looks like Little Red Riding Hood of the Forest, something like that. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this. Let me know what do you think this is and send me out a tweet or write it on my Facebook wall. I always thought that it would be hard for an art teacher to grade art because it's always so different. Kristen Aguirre, as you, if you've been following us this morning, has been at the Quincy Arts Center. She's been checking out some artwork from all over the country. It's right here at home. What's going on over there, Kristen? 
That's right. The Quincy Art Center has a huge exhibit going on right now. We're going to give you a sneak peek into it. Before we get into that, we are our Facebook walk today. We're talking about who's your favorite superhero. And Julie, who's your favorite superhero? Superman. Superman. If you want to know who my favorite superhero is, check out my Twitter at Kristen Aguirre. I just tweeted out a picture of her. All right, now let's get back into art. So we're in a new room now. And mm -hmm. what, are, what uh, piece are we talking about now? Well, this is a piece that the, the people at the opening reception chose as their hands-down favorite. Uh, it's That's amazing. People's choice. This is a watercolor. I know. It looks... I, it looks like a, a photograph, yes. doesn't it? Well, it, the fun story is the, the artist was a, a sort of young, retired uh, high school art teacher, and she retired to do painting full-time. Mm -hmm. And these were two of her students who were juniors in high school at the time. And they said, oh, you can't leave us. And she said, oh, oh you, I can't leave you either. So they met once a month at this coffee shop in Urbana. So she took a lot of photographs of them and then even photoshopped the heads uh, in her uh -huh. photographs. And then... Uh, made a painting from these little photographs. Now, I think one of the amazing things about art is there is a story almost behind every piece. Mm -hmm, there often is. Mm -hmm. All right. right. Well, well, if you want to see the stories behind on these other pieces, make sure you check out the Quincy Art Center. You can check out our website at connecttristates.com for some time openings and for some more information. And something fun to do this summer and here as it develops in the Tri-States, Kristen Aguirre at the Quincy Art Center this morning watching art take place in the Tri-State's Big City Art. Locally. That's right here at the Quincy Art Center. We have almost, excuse me, almost over 70, paint, 70 paintings here in their exhibit right now. And 11 of those pieces are from local artists. So we're showing you how to dissect the art today and um, kind of show you how these pieces were made. So what is this next one? Well, this is a drawing by Lydia O'Neill, who is from Hamilton. And she normally makes a face that's right, uh, coming, coming right at you straight and the, the whole entire face and all, lots of details in there. And, and she this, sketched this as a sketch, this right? This is a drawing. It's, yeah, it's all amazing. With, with it's one beautiful. Pencil. And she used something unique to do that with. And what is this? This is a viewfinder. And artists use this for all kinds of things. And you, it can block out other things. So what we do is we go ahead and put your little eye in there so you have an eye for art. Get it? So she goes ahead and do, she does that, and it blocks off things that allows her to what focus on that. Focus on just that part. Uh, she wanted it to look. Her daughter is an ophthalmologist, mm -hmm. so she wanted it to look like you having the uh, doctor looking oh, right in your eye, which wow. it does. It, it does. does. It does. And there's so much detail on here. You oh, can see absolutely. her pores, her eyebrow hair, her, some of those little facial hairs that we have. You know, yes, it's yes. amazing. Now, this is a just chain down here. Right. And this is only one of, uh, like we said earlier, 71 pieces that are here. Exactly. Well, exactly. if you're interested in seeing any of these pieces, make sure you check out the Quincy Art Center. For more details on the exhibit, make sure you check out our website, connecttristates.com. Well, Connect Tri State. While another thing fun to do this summer is check out some artwork at the Quincy Art Center this morning, that's where we find KHQA's Kristen Aguirre. Kristen, what are you up to now? Good morning. We are still talking art, but I want to remind you guys at home, that's why we're asking you the question, who's your favorite superhero? Make sure you check out our wall and Twitter and let us know what you think. But now, gearing it back to art here, I'm already been showing you some amazing pieces, but this one almost takes the cake. So what, what is this one here? Well, this is a drawing of uh, the octopus, an amusement ride in Springfield at the fair. And the it's artist did it, you know, with a number of different pencils. And we were saying that these pencils can really make this make it unique. I didn't know that there were different shades. We're going to walk over here and kind of show everyone the different right. uh, shades. So, right. you know, me, I look at pencils and think, you know, the ones I did my math homework on. But there are totally different shades and softness, right? Right, kind hardnesses of make this and softness. The hard ones are real light, and the real dark ones, in his case, are charcoal. And I have a charcoal pencil here. They'll, so they'll so show you the, the dark part. So this is the charcoal one, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's See almost that? like a crayon. Yeah, they're very soft. Ooh, like my eyeliner. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And here's ebony, which is the darkest pencil you can get. Oh. You can see how dark it is. And they're different to the one. textures almost mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. And here's a hard one, which will be li the lightest. The lightest? That we have here. 
That's an HB. Interesting. So, yeah. so these are all used in this, but in different in different sections. So when would this one be used? Say this whole section right here. And and another kind of cool thing is as you look at this, it's all what's called cross hatching. If you look closely at that, there are X's. Like the artist would draw this way and then draw, um, you know, like this way and then come across it like this. Oh. But it's all, you know, made to conform to the shape of these uh, metal beams here a little bit. So definitely there, it's not just throwing your pen, your pencil on here. It's kind of really crossing and there's definitely mm -hmm. a technique to go through. Well, if you're interested in seeing any of these pieces here at the Quincy Art Center, make sure you check out our website, connecttristates.com for some more information. It's amazing to see how much talent is right here in the Tri-States. Checking along, we've been following our own Kristen Aguirre, who's out at the Quincy Arts Center this morning. What are you up to now, Kristen? All morning, we've been giving you a sneak peek into the latest exhibit here at the Quincy Arts Center. But for people just tuning in, um, tell us a little bit about the exhibit. Well, this is the Biennial Quad State Exhibition and it has artwork from the tri-states and Indiana. It's a competition, and we use an out-of-the-area judge to select all the work and then to come here and select the prize winners. Now, we've been telling people also all morning, they don't need to travel to St. Louis or Chicago or big cities like that to see high-quality art. Now, we have a professional judge that works here that picks out the pieces, right? Mm-hmm, right, and she's from uh, Milwaukee, so she doesn't know any of the people which is extra special. And what also what's also extra special is that she actually chose 11 local artists here. That's right. Out of 71 pieces uh, by 51 artists, 11 of those are from this area. Mm -hmm. Now, what's so special about this exhibit? Well, it's, it's artwork that's been done right now. It has to have been done within the last three years. And um, again, it's been, uh, it's been selected. So not everybody gets into every competition. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the artwork chosen by that woman at this point in time. All right. Well, if you're interested in seeing these unique pieces, make sure you check out the Quincy Art Center. For more information on the exhibit, you can check out our website, connecttristates.com. And some very unusual pieces at the Quincy Art Center this morning. You'll